Hey guys, it's El Supersonic Q here. My apologies in advance if the camera angle is not that great. I did it myself and didn't have anybody to help me, so hopefully we got it good because I can't see like the other side of my camera, like what the camera sees. It's not like that. Uh, and also, sorry for the huge delay with videos. Um, that wasn't my intention. What I was planning on doing is, uh, I know we had the live stream or whatever, which um, was a big deal. And then after that, kind of lost track of the time, and it became so long that I'm like, oh, well, I should come back with a video that's like, Phew. and I was kind of thinking about what that should be for like a week and a half. So it turns out it's not really a big deal or anything, because, you know, this is... Um, you know, it's a, it's a vlog here, it's not like, oh, we're going to do this epic thing, but it is special in the sense that it's a double feature, so get some food and some drinks, because I don't know how long this is going to be, but it's probably going to be wicked long. Two videos in one. First off, we got a vlog right here, and then right after the vlog, I'm going to showcase my artwork that I did in school this year, at least some of it, most of it, the good stuff that's in a, kind of a nice little um, portfolio folder thing that I don't think I actually showed on camera. I actually filmed it already. So, um, yeah, um, the vlog, that's what we're, that's what we're doing now, so yeah, I didn't mean for it to be that long, hopefully it won't be that long, um, but part of it is just that I gotta really think about how I, I do these vlogs and stuff, because I know that they were supposed to, I gotta say every vlog, they were supposed to be, it's supposed to be that, and I'm still kind of figuring it out, I know I used to kind of write scripts and make little notes and stuff for, for the vlogs as to what I wanted to talk about, but in a sense I feel like, I almost feel like I don't like doing that. I just like throwing the camera on and just talking about whatever I can think of. So, as of lately, nothing's really been going on. I mean, in terms of like art and sculpting and stuff, I have to restock my clay completely because I have like no clay. And um, again, I, I haven't been like drawing like anything that like would be cool to show on camera, like, hey, check out this Mario I drew. You know, I just really haven't been doing it. I mean, I've been thinking about doing it, but I haven't really been doing it. Um, and on top of that, I'm there were a couple blog posts and stuff. I'm like, oh, I could post that here. I could do this about that on my blog. But again, I didn't really want to do any of that like without doing a video first or something. And I was kicking around the idea of another live stream. I don't know if I would do that with YouTube. I, I actually, okay, well, I was going to... I was thinking about doing another live stream at some point, so mo so more people could see it, because I know that a lot of people didn't really see it the last time. We had a great crowd of was it four. It was four. So that was really cool. I hope you guys like that, the four of you that watched it. Props. But, um, yeah, so I, I wanted to do another one, which, by the way, I've gotten some like quite a few subscribers, a few more subscribers since like my last video and stuff, so props to that. Thanks, guys. Getting up there in the ranks, but anyway... I was going to do another live stream for the third time, uh, and I was thinking about maybe doing it through YouTube, because I heard that it's better than Ustream, but I was trying to look through what I had to do to do it on YouTube, and while it may send out notifications to my subscribers, if I just get a video out with enough time so people know I'm doing a live stream, I don't think it's going to be much of a problem, and the hoops I would have to jump through to get stuff going on YouTube with a live stream. It, I was reading some of the directions, and unless I was under the wrong thing, it sounds incredibly difficult. Ustream, to its credit, I had no trouble with it. It was a little glitchy at first because I didn't know how to work, but again, that was probably my fault. So I would definitely give Ustream another like another chance. I had like no problems with it, so I don't really see the need to go to YouTube. But I am planning on a live stream, hopefully soon. I'd like to do those like you know f uh, frequently. Um, not like once every year or something, like, you know. Um, so that's kind of going on with that. What else is there to talk about? I feel like there's some gaming news that you're talking about. I was going to post this thing, though. This is pretty cool. Uh, a little story about myself. Um, this would be the, a blog post, like, I could see the title. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Pretty much what happened, I, I went into GameStop at um, a mall a couple weeks ago, I think, and uh, I was looking through their games and stuff, and I usually don't buy anything at GameStop. Uh, most of the time, because I don't really go game shopping really anymore. Um, but I noticed next to the counter there was this cardboard box, and it was full of cardboard and posters. So I've gotten a couple promotional posters from GameStop before and stuff, and, um, you know, they were just, well, they were just throwing it out. And what I heard the last, like, maybe the last year or so when I was trying to get posters from GameStop is they don't give them out anymore because they have to destroy them because people resell them or whatever. Um... And I got that response when I asked for one, like, on the wall. 
but this time there were some posters like in a box so I was assuming they were just going to throw them out and I'm like well maybe you know the ones they throw out are different than the ones that are on the wall you know they're not going to go take down one on the wall for you or write your name down on it anymore but if they're going to throw it out maybe you can snag it um, or take, take it ask for it I didn't want to sound like it was shady or anything no but anyway so the story goes like this um, I saw this cool little like it was a promotional poster advertising the Wind Waker Wii U bundle in the box or whatever so I asked the guy I'm like hey this is a really stupid question is that your trash and he's like yeah and I'm like are there any posters in it like that I can take and he's like oh let me look he's looking through and stuff I'm like anything Nintendo because he was naming off a bunch of crap and then he's like yeah Mario Kart I'm just like oh. it was the Mario Kart 8 poster that I saw in the window one time and it's like it's a huge poster and when I saw it in the window I'm just like, that would be such a great poster, because the artwork was so nice, it was so clean, it was Mario Kart 8, it was really nice. And I'm like, I'm probably never going to get that poster, because how am I going to get it? And there it was, in the box. Granted, it was folded up, you know, because they're going to throw it away, but the creases weren't too bad, and on one side, um, you know, you, there was no, like, the paper wasn't, like, um, cracking or anything, like, where the crease marks were, or anything. And I'm just like, yeah, I'll take that. When he asked me if I wanted it, I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. And I took it, he let me take it, and, well, he gave it to me wrapping the story up and I walked out of the store and I was pretty happy with it and then I you know opened it up like ah it was it was I don't know it was just really cool and again one man's trash is another man's treasure so that was a story with actually a happy ending and then I was going to play a crane game and try to win a Pac-Man but I decided not to waste my money poster was free didn't need to spend 10 bucks trying to win a Pac-Man or something and then not win the 10 and then not win the Pac-Man and be like well I just spent $10 on this poster essentially so um, but it's really cool. I was going to do a blog post about it, but I didn't get around to it or taking a picture. But it's like the main artwork poster for Mario Kart 8, and it's, again, it's huge. So that's pretty cool. Other than that, um, oh, the new Pokemon games that were announced. Pretty excited for that, actually. Um, I'm trying to think what I really think about that. I mean, I, I'm excited in the sense that Hoenn is probably my favorite region because Emerald was my um, first Pokemon game, so I really wanted to replay that again with HeartGold and Soul Silver being the remakes of Gold and Silver and you know all that stuff. So I thought that was really cool. But at the same time, I'm trying to think of what kind of uses they have for the game. I already have Deoxys, Jirachi, and all the event po all the Pokémon from the Hoenn region. So in that sense, I really don't need it cuz before Heart Gold and Soul Silver came out, I'm like, "Oh, I need to get those games because I don't have any of the Johto legendaries or anything." Um, but I already have all the Hoenn legendaries, so I guess I really don't need the game for that. I guess I can just play the game as I would a regular Pokemon game, which maybe makes it a bit less appealing to me, because, again, I really just play Pokemon to collect the Pokemon. Um, like, that's pretty much, pretty much what my main intention is now for those games. Um, so to play a Pokemon game leisurely, dare I say, I don't know about that. I'll probably pick it up, though, because props to, again, the Hoenn region. I don't know which version, though, I'm going to end up getting, but, um... Yeah, I'm glad they're doing it, but it, it's weird because when Harkle Soul Silver came out, I think that was around the time they had a Mew event, and I needed a Mew, so I got that. And now, like, I remember before I had a Deoxys, I'm like, oh, they better remake the Hoenn region, then they should distribute Deoxys, and I can get a Deoxys, but I already have Deoxys. Through the, um, the event they had for the Plasma Freeze TCG or whatever, so I don't even need Deoxys. I think I have, like, three Jirachis, or at least two of them, so... Huh, that's that. Still need Manaphy and Fiony, but Pokemon Rangers going to be, oh, to try and get and play and stuff. Oh, what else? I think that's kind of the only biggest things in gaming. I'm thinking of Smash 4, but I don't think, I mean, they haven't really revealed a whole lot more, I don't think. E3 this year. I might do another video talking about that, though. Kind of excited for E3, Nintendo. People are already saying Nintendo won, and they just announced they're going to, you know, have, um, have a conference or whatever. Pretty excited for that. On top of that, I did read this art interesting article, though. I should post it in the, in the description, because usually I don't like reading articles because the people who write them think they're better than you are. I just get that feeling. But this article I read was actually really good. It was really thought out. Uh, I liked it. So it was, why Nintendo can't reboot Star Fox so easily. It was a really well-written article and stuff, and it actually made me rethink you know, the Star Fox franchise a lot more. And now I'm not going to complain that, oh, Nintendo has to make another Star Fox game, because after reading this, I'm like, wow, it makes sense why they haven't made one. So I just post that in the, in the description. But back to E3. Yeah, pretty excited for that. And I, don't, I just get excited for that kind of stuff, because, like, it's happening in real time. Not so much what they're even announcing, because I haven't even, like, I mean, I've followed E3 and stuff, but I don't think anything that they announced at E3 ever. Remember when I was, like, into Luigi's Mansion 2 or whatever, when they first announced that? I really don't care about that game a whole lot anymore. 
um, like all the other like Pikmin three. I mean that was exciting, but I don't have a Wii U. I mean like it's not even like E three dictates what I buy as a gamer because I still buy GameCube games or at least I try to. But just seeing it all happen in real time, and I guess just generally speaking, what plans they're going to announce. So in case I ever get a Wii U and ever want to buy Pikmin three, you know I can. That made me rethink, or that brought up another thought though that I guess I could share here because why not? I think I'm replaying Ocarina of Time. I started a fi another file I, on the, my Zelda GameCube Collector's Ford Game Edition, you know, that special bundle thing. And I beat Ocarina of Time a long time ago, a long time ago, and I hardly 100%ed it at, at all. Um, and I decided, hey, why not replay it? Because I felt like it. So I got to like where you meet Princess Zelda, and then I kind of stopped it. I haven't picked it up in a couple days. And I don't know if I want to take on that endeavor, because I feel like, well, I could easily replay, like, Pikmin, or, well, start my file over Pikmin 2, because I'd never beat Pikmin 2, it was such a long time ago, I was, like, a horrible gamer, um, so there was that going on, I could, you know, do Pikmin 2 rather than play Ocarina of Time again, but I didn't 100% Ocarina of Time, so I could do that, and it's a great game anyway, um, and then, I played Kirby Air Ride for, like, probably, probably, like, the first time, really the first time, a couple of days ago, and um, I have to buy myself a copy of that game now because it's actually really fun. You unlock all the accomplishments and you like, don't even mean to do it. So, oh, the GameCube. Those were three GameCube games I was talking about. But other than that, circling back to art, uh, I just feel like I should be talking about some art. I know I'm going to show some in a couple minutes, but um, I feel like I should update you guys on my sculptures or something. But I haven't really been sculpting. Uh, I think what I'm getting at, though, is that this summer I really want to dedicate a lot of it to um, to sculptures and stuff. Uh, I don't know, I just, I just have the feeling that that's, should be doing sculptures and stuff. Um, so hopefully this summer, uh, we'll, I'll be sculpting a lot more and stuff and drawing a lot more and showing you guys a lot more things that I've drawn and stuff. So, with that said guys, I guess, I guess that's it for this video, so hope you enjoy the art coming up next. I'm all Supersonic Q, and let's start the art! Alright, so I got these drawings in four different segments. The first ones I'll show are kind of just not as refined sketches, they're just kind of standalone, and I have a couple like pictures that I put in the front of my binder. Uh, then the next set right after that is the pictures I pretty much did in class, I guess. Uh, I did this kind of series where every day, you know, whenever I had time in class, I would try and complete an entire picture over the course of a day. Uh, I try to do that every day. I only made it 13 days, but there actually are quite a few pictures in here, uh, or in this set that I'm talking about, and they range in character and medium and a bunch of different things, so I'll show those off. Then after, I have some failed pictures from that kind of drawing every day series I was just talking about, and then to conclude, I'll show some of my comic strips from my um, less than stellar newspaper, school newspaper, um, cartoon job because oh more on that later I guess um, alright so the first set and yeah I'm doing this old school like camera looking at the drawing instead of scanning them in to like my computer because that would take way too long and this is a lot more reminiscent of the olden days so alright so first off here is Samus from Brawl Artwork so this was just done in a sharpie, but it's really cool because just the shading and stuff, and I was able to capture the shapes pretty well. Um, she's kind of unfinished over here because I was using the brawl artwork, more not so much the artwork, but the artwork on the on the game box, and I forget who, but I think it might be Mario, maybe I don't know. Someone's blocking Samus, and I didn't really want to try and add in my own things because I thought that would just ruin it. So I think kind of as it stands like this, it doesn't look uh, too bad. So this one, the Samus was done in school, as was this Mario. Again, kind of going along with like the same type of series like the Samus, I just used Sharpie and um, exercised some shading techniques, so that's pretty cool. The only thing I really complain about is how the nose should be a lot more like outward, but I, I don't know, I didn't make it outward because I kind of screwed it up, and that's the one thing I, I noticed on this picture because it was the only one thing that when I was drawing it, I'm like, ah, oh, that was wrong. But I got the bra logo at the top here, so, uh, that's pretty cool. And again, um, this was done in school, again, along kind of, uh, with the Samus. I think it was a different day, however. And then I actually have some failed pictures from that kind of line that uh, I'll show off in my failed ones. Well, they weren't so much failed, but they were unfinished. But anyway, more on that later. 
And then these two, or rather, I have another one underneath it. These were some drawings I did um, last summer, 2013, and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with them because they were really nice. It was that promotional artwork for the um, the shiny Pokemon event that I put, put on my blog um, again last summer. But um, I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. I was going to put them all in like this poster board type thing and make kind of like a more like a standard you know piece of artwork, but instead I decided to put them on this uh, construction paper and then put them in paper protectors and use them for the pictures in the front and the back of my binder that I you know brought to school that had you know my schoolwork in it. However, um, kind of ditched the binder and uh, like you know not very far into the school year so no one really saw these. However, well some people did but regardless I think the fact that they're they are like they are is a lot better solution than having them just be in my you know random art stuff and get lost and ruined because again I I was thinking about doing the whole poster board thing like you know maybe like I don't know if I was going to do it like side by side or up and down you know I didn't know how I wanted it and I think if I waited any longer they would have gotten ruined because you know and I wanted some like finished pieces so I think just having you know this like it is Dalga and Palkia and kind of Giratina as the standalone self isn't too bad so um those, those were those drawings. That was all for the like the miscellaneous stuff. And now we're gonna get into the, the daily drawings. All right, so these are the daily drawings. I guess we'll kind of start in reverse because this is day thirteen, and I kind of, um, you know, started with day one, put day two over day one, so we, we're, we're gonna go in reverse. But again, these were kind of drawings that I tried to do on a daily basis. Um, they exhibit various characters. I tried to see. Uh, with just the mediums I had on me, which was pretty much highlighters, pens, and pencils, you know, what kinds of drawings I could do, you know, in class if there was downtime or just, you know, before class started. So this is about how far I got with that series. One of the reasons why I stopped wasn't so much because I, um, I guess, like, wanted to stop or whatever, um, but I just kind of ran out of characters, and I really didn't have the intention to print off, like, you know, pictures, like, every day use up all my printer ink, you know, of, like, other characters and stuff, so, um, all these were without pictures. They were just, again, in class, so, I guess maybe to a degree if I used pictures, I kind of would have ruined the, um, uh, you know, the authenticity of my memory. However, I think there is one in here that I did use a picture for, but more on that later. So, first off is Link, Ocarina of Time style. You know, I think I did use a picture for this one, too. Uh, this, that's not the one I was, I was talking about before, but, um, yeah, so he's pretty much a combination of pen and highlighter. It's pretty nice, but I just feel like I, I couldn't get the you know the the angle necessarily right, and his little little sword you know like belt thing is kind of all jumbled up. And um, I don't know. There's part of it that I like, but another part of it that I don't. And on top of that, uh, I don't know. The, the face isn't the best in my opinion. Um, but I do kind of like this cross hatching that I did for his tunic. It's a different texture than all the other, you know, parts of um, this picture. Which again, that's kind of what I was going for. I wanted to see, you know, what I could do with my limited mediums. So um, that's Link. Um, oh, and see at the at the top, I put what date I did it to. So this was on October 18th, 2013. Here's Luigi, and see, I kind of wanted to make a note of the date thing because this one took me one, uh, one, two, three, <laughs> three days to, to finish just because I, not because it took so long to do, but just because I couldn't finish it all one day because shouldn't be drawing in class, guys. So, uh, this is Luigi. Pretty nice, actually. I kind of like how, you know, I made his... Face. I don't know. I just think it's like it's like proportional. It looks good. The eyes look good and stuff. The only thing I can kind of nitpick about now is how the hat's not as big as I would have liked it to be. I just kind of noticed that, and he's actually really skinny. Kind of look at it, huh? He's not bad. I don't know. I think it could have been maybe a little better. I would have liked to color in it. Hit. I would have liked to color in his overalls, but I didn't have a blue pen. And uh, I think there's another part of me that wanted to kind of uh, keep with the green of, you know, everything else. Uh, his mustache, eyes, and eyebrows are, are done in black pen, and his, kind of the hair, the rest of the hair on his face is colored in with 
pencil and there's some minimal shading here and there. I didn't really go any farther, you know, with the shading or anything. But, um, yeah, that's, that's Luigi. So next is, some, is a Sonic, and I actually really like this one, because, again, this is, um, I tried to experiment, again, with, with different techniques and stuff. So this one is literally just a Sonic that's pretty much just completely done in pencil. And um, then I outlined his outline a little thicker, just so it had more of a pop, but it's really simple, but I like it, like, and, like, someone could, like, color this in, and it would, like, look great, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I just wanted to leave it black and white for, for that reason, that it just looked a little different. Uh, I think I may have used artwork for this one, too, um, because I had this little Sonic, like, little cutout that I taped onto one of my pens just to make it look cooler, and I think I was looking at my pen while I was drawing this on the paper. Or maybe I was, oh, I had to be using a pencil. So I must have been looking at my pen, yeah, while I was drawing this on the paper, though. So, that's Black and White Sonic. This one is, wow, really vibrant in the camera. It's actually really cool. Um, Super Sonic. So, yeah. I mean, you guys know me and Sonic, so... That's pretty cool. I used, again, highlighter to um, color him in, and I shaded around, you know, pretty much everywhere with pencil, while his eyes and nose are colored in with pen. And he's got a small little name logo in the bottom there. But yeah, that's actually really vibrant in the camera. I mean, it's pretty bright in real life, but I mean, in the, in the camera, wow, that's really vibrant. Alright, this is probably um, one of my favorite ones, and I actually... Well, I guess I used artwork for a lot more of them than I thought I did, but yeah, I used artwork for this one, and it's Mario from... Super Mario Bros. I, I I think that's what artwork is from. Yeah, you know it's that classic Mario jumping with the mus uh, with the mustache, with the mushroom. Um, what I did is I I probably I think I sketched this whole thing out in pencil, and then I outlined it with um, it wasn't sharpie. I outlined it and colored it in with the same things. They were like really nice markers, not like Crayola markers. Um, but this one is is really nice. I, I really like how that looks. And that was done on September 30th. I know I'm not reading the dates for all of them, but um, just to give you a sense of how long in between like certain ones, instead of you know reading them all. So this one is some Animal Crossing characters, because I wanted to do Animal Crossing, but I didn't really know what specific character to draw, so I just drew a bunch of them, and they're kind of small anyway. So we got KK up there, Tom Nook, <laughs> an ugly cap'n, uh, Brewster, Copper, and then Rossetti. So, obviously, didn't have pictures for these. I think these three are probably the best right here. Uh, Rossetti's not bad, and then Copper and Cavan are just like, I thought I could draw Copper, and he's okay, but not really. And then Cavan is just straight up ugly. I think Brewster's probably the best one on this page. So, Brewster's pretty cool anyway. Next is Shadow. Uh, I think this is kind of loosely from, like, SA2 style thing, because I know the shading would tell you otherwise. Oh, the Animal Crossing ones were just done in pen. That was, that was, uh, this was just all pen. Like, pen. <laughs> um, and then the Shadow, again, more like SA2, even though the shading would suggest Shadow the Hedgehog. But I did the, I, I, um, drew the whole thing in pen. I colored most of Shadow in to kind of create like a fur effect with pencil, and then I did some other kind of shading around here with, again, just a regular pen, and his shoes don't really exhibit much shading with um, a pencil or anything, just kind of, not even with a pen either, just kind of with, um, with, with a pen, like just standard color for what, you know, what the different colors on his shoes should be, so, um, that's Shadow. Alright, so, this is Yoshi, and you probably can't, you know, let me, let me move what's on the bottom. You can probably see what's on the bottom. Um, but yeah. Yoshi, don't draw Yoshi a whole lot, but when I do, um, I don't know where I was going with that. I don't really draw Yoshi a whole lot, but when I do, I, I try and, I don't know, make him look a little like, I don't know, I don't just sketch Yoshi, like, just willy-nilly like I do Sonic, so when I draw him, he tends to look a little better than some of my other off-Mario or off-Sonic sketches might look. Uh, this one I, I, I don't, like, a whole lot, I didn't use artwork for this one, I don't know, I just feel like he's a little too, like, baby-looking, I don't, like, I think his nose should be bigger, his eyes should be a little smaller, maybe, 
He's got a Yoshi egg. This was done in pencil with various, again, shading techniques and um, pencil, you know, um, pencil, you know, sketching techniques and stuff. So I don't know. It's it's okay, but um, I don't know. I I think I don't know. It's Yoshi. All right. So this was the one that you guys kind of kind of saw a bit beneath it. And I did this this with the same um, mediums that I did with um, uh, the Mario one. The really nice markers and uh, stuff, so I outlined it with them and colored them in, you know, with those markers, kind of wrote Animal Crossing in a fancy way over here, so, um, these are actually pretty nice, I didn't use artwork for these, just, I <laughs> don't really need to use artwork for Animal Crossing people, but yeah, this guy's got the Mario shirt, and this guy's got the bold check shirt, might not be what it's called, I, I don't know, I forget, but, you know, one of those, those shirts, and then they got the different faces going on, so, I like that one. This might be one of my favorite ones of the whole thing. I actually did not use artwork for this, which is actually kind of surprising. So it's Mario being all chill, leaning up against a Nintendo 64, kind of 64. Well, it doesn't really look like the Nintendo 64 64, but... Uh, this was done completely in pen. Just all of it was in pen. Got the little Super Mario logo up top there, and I don't know, just... Just that I was able to do this and kind of make it look this good, I guess, from memory. I'm, I'm kind of pleased with how that looks, especially since some of my other Marios are kind of, you know, I either need a picture or they're just kind of disproportional, um, generally speaking, if I don't have a picture. Um, this one I just think is really good. I mean, like, look at that face. That was from memory. Like, I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Um... And again, I, I used the pen for various shading on his hat. Yeah, everything that should that's pretty much should be a dark color. And then I did some kind of shading underneath his um his stomach as if like there was shadowing, uh, you know, there. And the 64 kind of just has some kind of pseudo 3D effects that you know, it is what it is. But that's that's Mario. This guy is pretty cool. It's Fox from Star Fox 64, and this was actually. <laughs> the one that I'm like, oh, I use artwork for, and then I ended up using artwork for most of these. But this is the one I was thinking of. And what I wanted to kind of exhibit here was, specifically, I drew, I, you know, I, I drew Fox, I drew the outline and stuff, and then I wanted to try and use, you know, pen and pencil to shade and make it look like an N64 model, and I was doing that and showing this, so. Um, but I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to use the shading to my advantage. It, it works pretty well, like, you know, kind of this side really looks like, you know, um, you know, shading and stuff, that's cross-hatching with the pen, and then kind of his fur tones and stuff I used pencil for, and I, I drew the whole thing um, in pen to begin with. I probably didn't, actually, I didn't do it in pencil first, I think I just did it in pen. Um, certain areas, again, like I said, look better. Down here, didn't really do a whole lot on this side, but, um, it is what it is, and for my liking, I wish the face was a little kind of down more, because I just can't capture this artwork uh, entirely right with, um, you know, how it should look. Sometimes the eyes are too close, sometimes, like in this case, the mouth isn't uh, low enough, so that's, that's Fox. Just one more shot of him, and the little logo is over here, and yeah, that's Fox. And we are at... The last one. You know, this one might actually be my favorite. And why does it say day two? Huh, this is the first one, but it says day two. I don't. Well, huh, maybe I failed up. Maybe I failed on day one. I'll have to. I'll have to look at that. I didn't really notice that before. But yeah, this one might actually be my favorite, even though I said that for like every other one. So this is Sonic. This is like definition. Super sketching Sonic. Remember, I said super sketching is like the style in which I draw a character when I'm just sketching him. This is, if there was a word to describe this, it's super sketching Sonic. So, I drew this on, I guess, the 5th of September, and um, it's just a really just completely on a whim, completely from memory, all in pen, so I couldn't go back and, you know change anything I didn't like. There's nothing I really don't like on here. He's kind of a little edgy with his lines being, um, you know, sketchy. I did some shading, but not so much that it ruined from the picture. And I made his shoes all in red, so they stood out more from everything else. So, one quick 
pan of this guy. I just really like this one, actually. And maybe um, that's partly to the fact that he was the very last one, you know, in this picture set. So I, like, never saw him a whole lot. You know, I don't really... I mean, like, I remember him, but, you know, like... The Link is a, is a lot more fresh in my mind than the Sonic that I did, you know, what, in September. So, I really like that Sonic. And that actually, that actually ends it. Um, I think this is just... Yeah, I guess I can show this off. Um, it's just a promotional poster for a, a video game club that I ran uh, in school this past year. And it's still going, and it's going to go next year too, but... Um, uh, just, this was the first year I start, I started it and stuff, um, and, yeah, I actually did the artwork at the bottom here, so this does have relevance, I, I, I drew those, um, with a paintbrush, and it was really hard, and I'm like, when I was making these posters originally, um, last summer before, you know, the club started, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, like, be really cool and, like, do calligraphy or, like, some really cool font for the whole thing, I, and I just failed so fast. I got to the H at the top here, I'm just, and I screwed up completely, I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna scan this in, and I'll keep the little pictures that I drew at the bottom, I mean, this isn't the original, but, um, I, scan, I scanned it in, typed up all this stuff, and then just kept my original picture, or the pictures that I, I drew, that I scanned in, so. Those took so long to draw, just saying. So... Those are my um, daily drawings, and now we'll get into some failed daily drawings. Again, knowing me and all my kind of beta stuff and production elements and my, you know, fascination with what isn't complete, I thought you guys would want to see some of my failed drawings, so this is the next segment. First off is Link from, I guess, Day 5, so he was, this one was actually done pretty early on in, um you know, the series, and just his face looks awful, and the proportion of his body looks awful, so I scrapped it. Um, this one is Metal Sonic, or was going to be Metal Sonic. Um, something about the eyes, I just, you know, now that I look at it, I don't know, it's not, actually not too bad. Probably because I, the eyes wrapped around way too much in how I draw Metal Sonic, is I usually have the eyes, you know, go down like that, but then shoot out this way, and instead I just made them wrap around for some reason, like wrap up, and I probably didn't want to work with that, so that is how that looks. Um, next is Samus, which just looks like crap because of the way, like, her helmet is curving this way, but the bottom of it is going this way, and then her visor in the middle is like split between the two ways, and it just looks awful. Um, and the shading wasn't complementing it either, and I made this body right here, with the chest piece, way too small to begin with. So, that one was awful. Uh, this Metal Sonic I didn't like, probably because the head wasn't that great. I don't like this, like, depth thing going on in the back here. Um, and I kind of wanted to include it, but I kind of screwed it up, I guess. And on top of that, the body's a little disproportional compared to the head. Um, I don't know. I think it looks a little better on camera. Than, actually, you know, maybe it, just, maybe it looks better in re real life. I just didn't didn't realize it. But the body, like, maybe the head is good, but, like, the body definitely isn't. I don't know what I was going with this, like, pose. And the, the circle's kind of a little off anyway. It's not even, like, a real, like, a full circle. That was myself, which I guess I just hated. I don't know what else is in here. Okay, I guess I was... Okay, <laughs> there's like more stuff, yeah. It was like myself, but it just sucked, because it did, so. Um, oh, here's a Folia Do thing that I was trying to do from memory. Still drawing that artwork today, because I like it that much, but I just screwed it up, because it's all wrong. The kid is, oh, no, I get it, no. And then these were the other two I was talking about that went to the brawl kind of thing that I kind of messed up on. Here's Meta Knight, which, not so much that I messed up on it, but... You guys are like, you just did the head. You didn't really mess up. But the eyes should be, like, bigger. And to, I just think I screwed the eyes in this little, like, you know, the little visor part of his mask up. Um, I just didn't like that. And then Fox, I actually didn't mess up on Fox at all. I just didn't finish it. So I kind of consider it, like, unfinished. But it's, it's a pretty good start to Fox, actually. But I didn't really want to continue because I like the head so much that I'm like, oh, if I try and draw the body, it's going to look stupid. So... Like, I thought, because I was using Sharpie for that, so I thought I was going to, like, mess it up. Um, so, yeah, those are my 
failed drawings, and now we'll get into the last bit, which is my comic strips. Alright, so this last bit is about my comic strips, so a little bit of backstory. Um, I decided that, well, we have a school newspaper and I want to get into the art field, so a really great way to build up a portfolio for that would be to do, uh, you know, comic strips or cartoons or whatever, which is also... Um, hopefully where my beginning art career will take me. I'm going to hopefully uh, get a job drawing cartoons for a newspaper, which would be really great. So I thought that building up my portfolio over this year and getting, you know, experience in school would be a really great, you know, resource in doing that. Um, while I did add some cartoons to my portfolio and while I did improve my skills um, and I'm a bit more knowledgeable than I was before, um, it, it didn't really elevate me to where I wanted to be, not so much in trying to land a job, but in just kind of getting getting hype around school. Uh, no one reads our school paper. The school paper hardly published at all. I'd submit cartoons, they'd become irrelevant. I'd submit more, they'd ask me for more, and I'm like, well, I just gave you a bunch. Use one of the ones that I already gave you, but you can't because they're irrelevant. And then I'd give them some, and they wouldn't publish the ones I thought they were going to publish. Um, it was just a really big mess, uh, to be honest. And I, I did get, get some out and stuff, but again, no one even reads the paper. So the whole hype around school and that type of thing didn't really help me at all. Um, but I, I do have some that uh, I'll, I'll show off to you. Just a few. I'm not going to show them all. Um... And then maybe you guys can kind of see my style a little more in terms of cartoons, because you guys see, you know, all the uh, Nintendo stuff I do, but not really, not really the cartoons. So this first one is, well, you guys can kind of read it. It says "Dead on Arrival" at the top, and then there's a date and a time and stuff. And then there's this guy dressed up all nice, and he's like, "Well, third time is the charm, right?" Because. Um, this was commenting on how my school canceled a dance twice. However, the second time, I didn't know about it. So I went down to the school all dressed up and stuff, and, like, no one was there. So I got pretty mad about that, and I decided to kind of commentate on that. Third time's the charm, right? Cancel it twice. And they never rescheduled it, which kind of sucked, because, um, yeah. <laughs> so, there was that one. Um, let me just fish through some of these. Um, there's this one that's more political. I, I wanted to focus quite a bit on um, political aspects. So there's this guy up at the top there, and he's at a zoo, and he's like, So this is the 2013 Push Me Pull You, the reason why nothing gets done around here. And of course, it's the two parties kind of um, pulling, pushing on each other, you know, rather than working together. And it's the Washington Zoo, because all that stuff goes down in Washington, so... Yeah, I mean, let me put that one. I mean, like, they're pretty big, you know, when I do these. Unfortunately, uh, none of these are the originals unless they were ones I either didn't finish or didn't submit because, again, I want to submit the original so it doesn't look like, you know, crappy scans. So these these are just, are just scans, the ones that I have here. Which, again, kind of sucks when you think that, well, no one really saw the originals or they were never published, so... It's a, it's a case of that guy in my anime club poster. He took the original. And he never put it up anywhere. Um, I actually like this one a lot. This is probably my most popular one because I think it lasts the longest in the paper um, between issues and stuff. And I, I this is the one I primarily show to people and that people usually understand when um, when I'm showing them my, my stuff. So it says Mandato mandatory electoral surgery. And then the doctor's saying... Yeah, it's too small to get closer. He's saying, welcome to welcome to DC politics. Next in line, because we've got the GOP. This guy says GOP on his tie, and the other guy says Dem. And uh, obviously for Republicans and Democrats, and this guy's ripping out their spines, and then look, there's a guy, and he's spineless, because and then there's a bucket of spines there, because the reason why there's no leadership in DC. That is my commentary on, on that. You can see that one. I, I, I tried to be a little political, but at the same time, I wanted to balance with, like, school issues again, like the dance thing. And at the same time, 
until I get more established and stuff, I don't really want to be too political, because it's like the Mario Party 5 thing. No politics, just, you know, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's always what I think of, but I know political cartoons, um, you know, that's they, they sell, so I had to get into that field a little bit. Um, then this one you guys all saw, the first day of school thing, with all these kids being like, oh, it's the first day, and then there's the nerd, and he's like, oh, yeah, it's the first day, and there's one in every crowd. I do have to do another one like this, though, um, for, th for the last day of school this year, like a reverse, um, and then maybe I'll give that to the paper if they decide to publish it. Um, I think that's about, that's about it for finished ones. Uh, I guess I can show, uh, no, I think that that's kind of it for this year. I, there are a couple more, but they're not really good to show. So, I guess with that said, that is all my artwork as of right now, or at least most of the stuff I did in school. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, I, I guess there's nothing else to say. I'm going to forget about something and think of it when the camera's off. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And again, I'm always drawing. I'm always sculpting and stuff. So, you know, I'll have more stuff to show just as time progresses. But thanks for watching. I'm L Supersonic Q. And until the next video, Finn.